That was a nice pre-dawn walk just up the shore to frame up the island in that nice driftwood. It was nice to get there with plenty of time and set up and fiddle the composition. Here you can see just an inch forward, a couple inches down made enough difference to me that I fiddled with the tripod a whole bunch more to get it just so. But that's, that's the idea, get there, set up, wait for the light. But uh, yeah, now it's gusting pretty good, but the sustained wind isn't too bad. So I'm gonna head over to Fawn Lake. Depending if I can paddle through there or not, it can be, I guess, pretty shallow and mucky at certain times of the year. I've already had my breakfast, another three bacon and egg and cheese McMuffins. And I have a couple of these little guys some quick, easy burning fuel to get across the lake into the, the headwind that's there today. Let's boogie. with a little perch. Something bigger this time. Hello, sir. That's not bad. I'm not good at uh, guesstimating weight. Oh, this is trouble. Yeah. It's a big smallmouth, isn't it? I'll give that I'll measure them later. Ring to elbow. like he's picking off frogs. I'm paddling right over the deep spot now in that lit up island or it could be the far shore. I'm gonna stop there, have a little rest and then let the wind blow me back across the some trail mix. You're darn right, there's uh, M&M's Smarties. Oh, generic milk chocolate candies. And uh, Waterloo Grapefruit Rattler. That'll be good on a day such as today. Crack a warm one. Mm -hmm. 
Does anybody want to guess how old this fire pit is? That a juniper bush grew here, grew over it, died, all on top of this fire pit. All this lichen too. Made it back easy peasy with the tailwind. It's 4.30 now. Have a little snack. I forgot about these guys. Dehydrated pineapple. Made them myself. Oh, that's lovely, dear. Thank you. I'm gonna take down the tarp. Won't need it tonight. And it'll just make it'll just tomorrow's get out and go chores that much easier. Tomorrow is departure day. Now it's time to plan the evening photo shoot. Let's consult the nerd charts. All right, I'm thinking we head over to the island. And there was that little bay yesterday. Had a nice leading line that'll look, nice curvy leading line that'll, that'll look right towards sunset. And also what I'm thinking, I gotta check the time, but sunset's probably an hour and a half. So I might take my little stove over there and my soup. Oh, I hope the soup has a pop, a pull tab. Otherwise, I throw rocks at it, big ones. Have black flies tonight and loons. Looks like these boaters might come through right on schedule. I might like that in the shot, I might not. You might like it in the shot, and you might not. Such is photography. The light looks so good right now. Hold on. That was so good. I'm very happy with that. It was a fun little side quest, cooking dinner and and getting those shots. I got a bonus shot when I got back to the canoe. I was able to click one off there. It was bouncing a bit in the waves, so I don't know if it's super sharp, but...
paddling back to the island, island which was the subject of night two shot. I'm gonna get on that island this time. I was gonna park there, but I'm just gonna move right to the point of the island because I don't want the canoe in the shot. gonna leave that there hopefully it doesn't sink in the mud I think it's settled but if it sinks some more uh, that'll misalign my subsequent shots which will be sunlight touching these treetops which I can then blend with the best that I got of the clouds the far shore has some sunlight so that's cool Let's see these treetops are starting to get it Wednesday morning, 9.30 now. That was a nice, calm, relaxing paddle and photo shoot this morning. I'm already packed up and I'm not as broken up as I could be because there's still an adventure over that away, up Gull Creek. But still, three nights, four days. It's a little foreign when you paddle up, but then it becomes more and more familiar. Your new little, new little homestead. Everything from the waterfront where you did dishes and jumped in for a swim. The fire pit. Where I left some wood for the next occupants in case they get in late or in tough weather or something like that. The tent pad the pathway to the protected area with the tarp where I hung my water filter and the bear hang and the little hill down to the shoreline. I'm gonna paddle out of here now and be across to the opening of Gull Lake in probably half an hour. It won't take long to go see if the rapids are flowing and then out of there to the launch. Might be the end of the road there. I can see above those rocks that it continues, but 
I'll see if I can get a way through, but I don't feel like unloading the canoe and hauling it over. I could park the canoe and hike the rest of the way. It wouldn't be too much longer at all. my roadblock right there but I found this nice little beach I have a shore lunch I think and then I'll decide if I want to go by foot the rest of the way if the water is this low like you can see high water lines over there and I have a feeling maybe those rapids show up in the springtime there's also some boot prints in the sand here so fresh ones I'm not, I don't want to leave my all my stuff sitting right here where there's fresh boot prints. So I'll probably just gobble up a little ham and cheese and mustard wrap and head on back. It won't be too long till I'm back out to the main body. Hang a right. Follow the shore home, maybe I'll find some shady bass holes. <laughs> See how fast I can go. I didn't write anything down for this. Thanks for watching.